you know, this money, which you niggas sold yourself uh, uh, off over, it's not even real money. Okay, it's a fiat currency. Okay, hello, 144, Kaholayim La, Yahawah Bahasham, Yahawah Shai. Okay. But, um, okay. But again, you know, Satan showed you all, all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them to, to all you false prophets. And you basically didn't think you you did. You didn't give it a second thought, man. You said, fuck it. Sign me up. I want it all, you know. So that's why Yahweh Shai made this statement right here. No man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and mammon. You see that? So you can't serve the most high and, and uh, money. Nah, man. You know? And if you notice, Yahweh Shai always spoke about, you know, being humble, choosing to be lowly, not rich, not wealthy, you know, but poor. In the matter of fact, in Matthew the fifth chapter, what did Yahweh Shai say? Okay, didn't he not say, "Blessed are the poor in spirit"? Okay, okay, Matthew five and three, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." Okay, you see that? So Yahweh Shai is looking for the poor in spirit. Now, does that mean that you, you got a poor spirit? No. It, when you're poor in spirit, it means your mind is not focused on money. It's not focused on the riches or, or the glory of this kingdom. Your mind is not fixated on, you know, shooting to the top or none of that shit. You know, your mind is set on being humble. Your mind is set on glorifying Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Your mindset is on serving Yahweh while Yahweh Shai in fear, faith, and trembling and sincerity. For what? For a greater cause that you may receive salvation. Because after you receive salvation, if you're of the elect, right? Then you get the popularity. Then you get the fame. Then you get the, the women. The, you, you get the real money with the moony which money goes back to Mooney, which what silver rep is supposed to be a representation of the moon, right? And gold is supposed to be the representation of the sun. So that's real money, Mooney. Gold and silver is real money. You see? So, so the elect is going to, if you're of the elect, you know, you're going to get all that. And all you have to do is continue to be humble and do what the Lord said to do to the best of your ability. Okay. So you can't, you can't serve Yahweh, 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 Shai and Mammon. Okay, so here we go. Let me see. But seek ye first for the, for seek ye first. That's a good one, but it's not necessarily the one I'm looking for. Let me see. Okay. Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. 
It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, right? Where moss and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal, you see? So lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth. And what and what are what what are the treasures upon this earth? Having a, a um having a like a a, a a a rich mansion. That's that's one of the treasures of this earth. You got land, you got substance, you got women, you get you got money to buy multiple vehicles. Okay? You probably you probably have over a million in 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 the bank. Okay, you probably have all, all, over a million in the bank. Those are examples of treasures upon earth. You know, earthly treasures, which is what? They're all temporal. As a matter of fact, when you look up the word carnal, the word carnal literally it, the word carnal not only means physical, Okay, the word carnal not only means fleshly, did you know that the word carnal also means temporal? Okay, so lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moss and rough doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. And how do you do that? You do that by doing what your father, Yahweh in heaven said to do. Okay. Okay, the Heavenly Father told you to fast, right? He told you to fast. He told you to be brotherly. He told you to do your videos. Okay. He told you to hit up the highways and hedges and go teach. He told you to fast, pray, watch, do videos. You know, pay your tights. I mean, if you can afford it, of course. Because not every brother in this truth can afford to pay their tithes. I mean, obviously, it's because of their living condition. But, you know, the Lord, Lord also told you to pay your tithes. You know, things like that. You know, helping brothers out if they need it. You know, doing what the Lord said to do, teaching the scriptures the, the correct way. OK. You know, if you have 100 percent truth, you know, you, you teach that. Don't 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 divert from it. Don't don't pervert from it. None of that, you know, but you're teaching the 100 percent correct doctrine. You know, you're not being proud. You're being humble. You're being filled with humility. You know, you're warning. The, you're, you're warning the people doing these things is how you build up your treasures in heaven. So lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moss and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But what? Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moss, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. Right? Because you can have all, all, all the fancy clothes in the world. You can have all the cars in the world. You know, you can have a mansion. You can have many women. You can have a, a swimming pool. You can have a jacuzzi. Hell, you can even have a private jet. But all those things can be taken from you overnight. Because the ultimate Indian giver is Esau Edom. The so-called white men starting with the Rothschilds and Rockefellers trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. But especially the Rothschilds and Rockefellers who have rule and control over uh, the, this planet. Okay. For where your, your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And that is a true saying.
Okay, if your if, if your mind is on money, that's where your treasure is going to be at. Okay, your main priority is going to be getting money, getting money. You know, getting money. Now let's go back to Ecclesiasticus chapter seven, verse one. Okay, do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. You see that? Do no evil. Now, lying to your congregation is evil. You lying to your congregation and keeping them in the dark just so you can keep getting riches. That's evil, man. <laughs> okay, that's evil. Okay, depart from the unjust and iniquity shall turn away from thee. Right? Because the unjust is all about what? Iniquity. The unjust is if they're the unjust, which another another word for the wicked is unjust. Because what does the word just mean? The word just means righteous. So what's the opposite of a righteous person? A wicked person. So an unjust person is a wicked person. So depart from a wicked person and iniquity shall what? Shall turn away from thee. You see that? My son, sow not upon the furrows of unrighteousness, and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. Okay? Seek not the Lord preeminence, neither the king of the seat of honor. So let's see, let me see. Oh, this is Ecclesiasticus. Okay. So that's that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Let's go to Ecclesiastes sock, yeah. You know, but I ain't gonna lie. I did get I did get some some gems out of that, you know. Okay, Ecclesiastes 7 and 1, it says a good name is what better than precious ointment and the day of, of death than the day of one's birth. Okay, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, because when you're in the house of feasting, right? When you're in the house of feasting, your your main focus is on, you know, well, how can I use this? Because that's another thing about having a lot of money. When you have a lot of money, your main focus is on how 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 can you spend that money? Because it's it's clear that those who have a lot of money, they're they're feasting, they're partying, you know, they're living that lavish wonton lifestyle you know and, and it's evident that a lot of a lot of people who die from drug overdoses for the most part it'd be a lot of those people who are rich who can actually afford to buy drugs back to back to back to back to back you know all these all these rich crackers known as edomites in the bible who be dying from you know uh, opium overdose and and you know dying from drug overdose it's because they have so much money that back to back to back to back to back to back to back they're just buying drugs right off the bone. So it's like they're just getting high every day. And when they feel like it's not enough, they take their they 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 take the drug usage to another level. And right before you know it, it's just creeping up on them, man. The overdose is creeping up on them. Okay. But anyways, you know, when, when, when you got money, you're figuring out how to feast with that money. That's why the Bible, that's why I read earlier in my first video before my um, phone accidentally cut off. Okay. Um, labor not to be rich. Okay. Labor. <laughs> Hey, labor not to be rich. 
Okay? Because, hey, when, when, especially niggas, when they come into a little bit of money, the first thing they want to do is get high, play video games, especially on their off day. They just want to get high and play video games all day. You know, smoke. You know, eat up all the food in the house. Ain't paying no rent, no bills, nothing, you know? Just un just unruly. You know? So, you know, and again, you know, my money money is, is uh how, how you survive in this society. You know? My money is how you survive in this society. You know, that's why when people get some money, it's like, you know, oh, wow, you know, I have like 100K. Well, what should I do with my family? Should, should we go to Disney World? Should we go to Six Flags, Kings Island? You know, the beach water park? <laughs> you know, should we go to Dave and Buster's? Should we go to Laser Tag? You, you know, possibilities are damn near endless when, when you have so much money, right? So you're just thinking about how to feast with that money. That's why the scriptures say it is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. For that is the, the house of feasting is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. And that the living are talking about those that are in their right minds and is truth. Who wish not to be a part of the house of mourning. I mean, who slip it a tongue, not with the heart. Who, uh, uh, okay, that's talking of the living is talking about those in this truth in their right mind, which are the elect. Who have no desire to be a part of this world. Who have no desire to be rich in this society. Okay, now don't get me wrong. Money is a defense. The Bible tells you that. Money is a defense. You, you can use it to, you know, to keep a roof over your head, to put food in your house, to keep your electricity on in your house. So you're not just sitting in the dark at night. You can use it to. Uh, you know. You can you can use money to, you know, pay your light bill, your utility bill. To pay your heat bill so you can take hot showers, you see. So, yeah, money is a defense. But money is not the end all be all. OK. Look, the Heavenly Father has things waiting for us that's far greater than anything we, we've ever witnessed on this planet. So, hey, 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 fuck, fuck all the glory and the riches and all the shit that this kingdom have to offer. Fuck it, man. This society ain't worth it. You know, this 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 society have nothing on 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 what the elect is going to receive for enduring all of this humiliation, these persecutions, you know, enduring all the suffering. You know, it's going to outweigh it. And the elect is going to get that reward. Eyes have never seen nor have entered into the ears of men the things which the Lord has prepared for them that love him. OK. Sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart, which is your mind, is made better. The heart, which is the mind of the wise, is in the house of mourning. Right. And when you go into that word wise, right, that word wise means to see. Now, if the Lord's giving you the oil, like Apostle Gabar always goes into owls, right? OK, owls, they're known for being wise. Because they're able to see in the dark. OK, they're able to see in the dark. Now, when you look at it from a spiritual perspective, right, if you're the owl. Right. And we're walking in the midst of darkness in the valley of death. What's the darkness? 
the wickedness and the evil that is going on in this society that is done by people who are being controlled by demons. Okay? This world is full of darkness. Okay, so when you're wise, which the word wise means to see, right? You can clearly see why this kingdom is going to be destroyed. You know, you can see why major and serious and brutal judgments are coming. And you can see why these people who who are going to refuse to turn from their from their wickedness and their iniquities, why they're going to be judged brutally by the heavenly father. And and trust me, you don't want to be a part of that judgment. Okay, nobody want hey you don't want to ride that train, man. I'm just going to I'm just telling you right now, because the, the terrifying judgments that's coming to these people, you're going to be glad you took heed and chose to worship Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. OK. You're going to be glad that you chose to do it. OK, because these people, the Lord's got something terrifying waiting for them. Boy, all these things you see in scary movies and horror movies and TV shows like Bad Black Mirror, Metalhead, all those things are going to become a reality soon. You know, and people, hey, people could take it to take that statement for a joke. They can take it for a joke. But guess what? When it actually happens, then you're going to see that the so-called white man is the fucking devil and the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And that these goddamn Edomites, especially the ones that that run, you know, this society that have control over this whole world, the Edomites, talking about the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, you're going to see that they are the wicked that the Bible speak of, man. OK. So sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance, the mind is made better. OK, the mind of the wise is in a house of mourning, right? So you, you can see, you know, the corruption and the darkness of this society because the Lord's giving you the oil in your eyes like an owl to be able to see through all this darkness and to see that this kingdom is not the end all be all and this kingdom is not where it's at. You know, you, you see that righteousness, which is the way of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is the way to walk in. Which leadeth to what? Salvation. And that righteousness starts with faith, which we were ridiculed for, for having faith. Okay? Okay, uh, those, those guys at uh, IUIC, they called us faith based at Israelites. Yeah, we are faith based. This whole thing of ours is based on faith. Okay? Faith through the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay, so guess what? Lord's will, if we're of the elect, because we, we, you know, here at Great Millstone, who truly follow Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity, we hope to be of the elect, where we're prisoners of hope. We're hoping and begging to Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, to have mercy upon us. You know, that's why we're fighting to do the right thing. We're, 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 we're doing our best to walk in righteousness to the keeping of the laws, statutes, and commandments, which we can keep to the best of our ability. Okay, which is a part of our works spoken of in uh, Second Esdras, the ninth chapter. Okay. So if you're wise, you're not going to try to make it in this society. You're not going to have the goal of trying to shoot to the top. If you're wise, you're not going to be in college. You're not going to try to go to college so so you can, you know, sit upon hunt, uh, sit upon over a million dollars and be set for the rest of your life. Because you see that this country is going to be destroyed, especially in our generation. 
Now, as it is written, no man know of the day or hour, but we know that time is near. We know that time is near, okay? Okay? It says, but the heart of fools is in a house of mirth. And if your mind is fixated on money, you're just figuring out how 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 to, you know, get get to that 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 mirth lifestyle. You know, partying, all that shit is possible when you got a lot of money, right? But when you're poor and you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're just getting enough to get your daily bread. You're not you ain't thinking about none of that that, you know, you ain't thinking about no clubs or no. See, because your mind is in uh, in a house of mourning. Why? Because you're wise. And that when I think of wise, I think of the, 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 the 10 versions, the five that were wise and the five that were foolish. OK, so the heart of the wise is in a house of mourning, but the heart of fools, which the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word, the Hebrew word, lie, which means your mind. Right. The mind of fools is in a house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than than for a man to hear the song of fools. And that, that's exactly what you're going to get when you're a part of IUIC or any of these false Israelite groups out there. OK, uh, ISUPK, GOCC, FOPI, Sakari. You're going to hear the song of fools because they're going to tell you, you know, burger and fringes. They're going to tell you Edomites can make it and that there's mermaids swimming in the Pacific Ocean somewhere. You know, they're going to tell you that that, you know, he heathens can come into their congregations and receive salvation. You know, they're going to teach you that they, they're going to tell you that, the you know, the, the market of beasts is, is an embargo. Is it a corporation? It's sin. Those are all the song of fools. They're going to tell you that the image of the beast is Cheshire Borgia. OK, those are all the images of those are all the songs of fools. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot. OK, so is the laughter of the fool. This is also vanity. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. And that gift can come in the form of shoes. That gift can come in the form of clothes. That gift can come in the form of vehicles, women. That gift can come in the form of you uh, being given a house. Or that gift can come in the form of a suitcase full of money that could change your whole life and put you on game. Which can lead to what? Can lead to you doing evil things. And why is that? Why would it lead to you doing evil things? Well, the answer is right here. First Timothy six, verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil. With which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith, you know what that means? They perverted their ways. At one point, they used to teach the scriptures correctly, talking about these false Israelite groups. But once they were given that bag, what happened? They became perverts and erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So, you know, a lot of these false prophets, I can tell you that they're not sleeping good at night. You know, they got to figure out how they're going to answer their congregation when the micro C hip becomes mandatory. What you going to say to your congregation?
Hmm? How are you going to continue to get your money when that when the micro C hit become mandatory? Hmm? But anyways, you know, as for you sincere brothers in this truth that truly believe in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that have chosen to stay poor, even as I'm poor, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm poor. I have faith that one day that if I'm of the elect, which I hope to be of the elect, that I'm going to receive great glory and I'm going to have riches this world has never seen before. I have faith in it. So guess what? I could be poor today and be a, 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 a king when Yahweh shall return. Lord's will if, if I'm of the elect. You know, and, and as for you hopeful members of the elect out there that truly believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, continue to be faithful. You know, as for you, you sincere brothers out there that truly believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, they have chosen to be poor, to continue to be brotherly, and, and to worship Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of your ability. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, which the angels can also be likened unto witnesses. So with that, I pray and hope that you sincere brothers and few sisters have been edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. It's on to the next one.